One of the most important aspects of Japanese culture and society is etiquette. Japan is very orderly, and with that type of structure, there are several things one must do to function on a daily basis. So, here are some of those rules you should pay close attention to. First, taking a bath. It is important that you use the separate shower to clean yourself with soap. Once you complete the cleaning process, then you sit in a pre-filled tub of hot water to soak. After soaking for 15 minutes, then you get out and dry. Remember, don't let the water out. Second, Japanese are very particular about dust and dirt. So make sure that you have your own pair of slippers for entering certain buildings. Hotels don't follow the rule for the main entry, but it is always a good idea to have your slippers anyway. So here's how it works. Place your slippers on a raised section of the room. Slip out of your shoes and put on your slippers as they rest on the raised section. Then place your shoes into one of the available shoe slots. Now that you know how to use your slippers for building use, what about eating? This one is simple, but it takes some time to get used to saying. Before eating any meal, you always put your hands together, just like praying, and then you say, Ida dakimas, which basically means, let's begin. When you are done eating, you should always say, Gochi so sama, which means, thank you for sharing the meal, or it was a real feast. And chopsticks are cool to eat with, although difficult for some people. But one quick note, never point them at another person and don't lay them on the table. You should lay them on the top of a bowl or on a pre-made chopstick holder. Bowing is important, and in Japanese it is called ojigi. To bow is like saying hello and goodbye, and is used extensively to communicate. If you plan on networking in Japan, make sure you have your business cards. The important thing is to remember how to present your card. Always give your card to a potential client or friend with two hands, and bow as you give it. When you receive a card from a Japanese person, make sure you retrieve it with two hands and read it in front of them. It's common courtesy. Finally, if you are invited to someone's home, before you enter, please say, Go nen kudosai, or may I please enter your home. So there are a few Japanese etiquette tips for you when you make your adventure trip to Japan. For the Japan Fulbright Experience in Hightower High School, I'm Laura Pena.